Okay, so um, to start working on the eyes and refining them, I'm going to go ahead, select my mesh, and I'm going to go into edit mode, okay? And I'm going to first of all just go ahead and disable the armature and the subsurf, okay? So I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to tab out of edit mode and just make sure I'm just on my mesh layer by itself, okay? Just click on this one, now go into edit mode. And if I go to my um, vertices options here, okay? I'm going to see in my vertex groups, I have um, all these names now of weight groups, okay, for the bones. So I'm going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom, okay, maybe bring this tab down here like this, and I'm going to create a new group for the, the eye weights to tell our eyes how to um, wrap over the eyes, okay, so that them penetrate the mesh of the eye sphere. And I know that's a little bit complicated, but it'll make sense as we do this. So I'm going to go ahead and press the little plus button. Down here, you can see a highlighted thing called group 001. I'm just going to double click on that and I'm going to name this inner eye um, dot L. Okay, so if I go now and I select my um, inner eye geometry, how could I do this? Okay, so if you look here in the inside, you can see that we have the inner part of the eye this loop in here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, select that inner loop there, and then I'm gonna press Control plus and just grow the selection. Um, okay, that's gonna be a little bit tricky to do. Um, okay, you know what, we can, one way we can do it, is I'm gonna select this loop in the inside here. I'm gonna go Control E and mark scene. Then I'm gonna go to my face select mode and I select one of these um, faces in the inner part of the eye. Okay, so I can get one selected. Okay, there we go, I have one selected inside there. And I'm gonna go ahead and press Control L. And now it's gonna select all of that, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same here, holding and shift, select one of these faces in the inside of the inner eye, and go Control L. Oops. Control L. Why isn't that working? Um, okay, I see what I did here. I forgot I didn't create um, fill in this face. I'm sorry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead, select this edge here and this edge and go face. I'm just going to make sure. Okay, that's now a complete loop. So I'm going to go ahead, slip, select that inner loop again. Go Control, Mark Seam. Okay, now it's working. So now I'm going to go just select the um, inner one of those interfaces and also do holding in shift do the same thing here okay then I'm going to control L and now I can see it's selected all the inner geometry okay so I'm going to go ahead with my inner eye dot L selected I'm going to go assign okay so if I deselect this now and I go click on this group and I can go select we now have that group selected okay so now I'm going to do the same thing with the outer eye I'm going to go um, select th these loops on the outside and go control E and then go um, mark seam and then I'm going to do the same thing with this loop here okay I'm just going to go control E mark seam okay so I'm going to go to my face select select one of these faces and one of these faces and go control L and now it's selected this um, the outer eye geometry here eyelid geometry I'm going to create a new group I'm going to call it outer eye dot L, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and assign. So if I deselect this now and I go select, I select my outer eye. If I go to my inner eye and I press select, I select my inner eye, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing with this side, the exact same thing, okay? I'm going to select the loop here. I mean, the, the loop on the inside of the eye, okay? And I can see it's not working. So I gotta find out why. It's because I didn't fill in this face here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, press F there to fill in those faces. And just test by pressing Control R to see if it's a loop. Okay, it is. So I'm gonna select this inner loop of the eye. Hmm. The inner eye loop. And go Control E, mark seam. Go to my edge, my face select, and select those two inner um, faces there and go control L and that's selected the inner geometry and then I'm going to go create a new group 
and call it inner i dot r okay and i'm going to go assign then i'm going to go ahead to my edge select again select the front loop go control e mark scene and do the same thing to these ones here mark scene go to my edge select control l to select these guys here and then i'm not sorry under that create a new group okay outer i dot r and assign so if I go to my outer eye and I select, you can see there it selects the outer eye, inner eye dot L R, okay, outer eye dot L, oops, okay, and then inner eye dot L. Now we have those groups. We're ready to go to the next step. So I'm going to go here, go uh, back into object mode, holding and shift, enable my eye layer. Then I'm going to go ahead, click on my little guy here, and I am going to create a um, put my armature at the top of the stack and then create a new modifier called shrink wrap. Okay, I'm going to call this one inner i dot l. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my vertex groups here and select the inner i dot l. So if I go find it, it's going to be here somewhere. Okay, inner inner i dot l, and then the object I'm going to select. Okay, is my I dot L. Okay. So now those are wrapping around the inner I. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new shrink wrap modifier. I'm going to call this one outer I dot L. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and select those groups. Okay, where is it? Just gotta look here for it. This is really annoying. Um, where did I put it? Okay, outer i dot l. Okay, and then we go ahead and select my outer i dot l. Cool. And that's done now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing to that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shrink wrap modifier. I'm going to call it inner I dot R. I'm going to go ahead and select the inner I. So if I go down to here, um, inner I dot L, oops, sorry, inner I dot R it gets a little confusing. Um, inner I dot R, okay, inner I dot R. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select the I dot R, okay, because that's our inner one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shrink wrap modifier. And then look for the outer I. So I just type in outer, outer I dot R. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select the outer I dot R. Okay, now it's wrapping properly. So if I go ahead now, and I just enable my subdivision surface again, okay? And then I just um, disable, um, just go to my mesh, my character layer by itself. We can now see that the eyelids um, are fitting on top of our, um, our eyes. So if, if I quickly um, disable the shrink wraps, you can see what it actually looks like. That's without the shrink wraps. And this is with the shrink wrap, okay? So when we deform these later, they'll never penetrate in through the eyes, okay? And that's why we did what we did. So if I go and holding and shift and enable my rig here, and I quickly just select my rig and go to pose mode and select the main eye control, you can actually see the mesh is deforming a little bit. It's actually having an effect. So that's really good, okay? So we just did that with the eyes. So I think we are ready to start creating some shape keys for the eyes so the eyes can open and close okay so the next video is going to be shape keys for the eyes okay and then we'll after that go to shape keys for the mouth but we have the eyes set up now and that's really cool that was a that was a hard part i really hope you guys were able to follow along okay so i do apologize if it was difficult